Today I begin the astronomy campaign, which will include uh, short videos about um, interesting subject from the astronomical science. And I am beginning with the astronomy tree. Let's begin with the first astronomical branch. This is, and maybe most important, this is the astrophysics. Here at the bottom, because it is important, is the astrophysics. Now, astrophysics is a branch of astronomy which uh, is dealing with the physical properties of, of celestial objects in the universe. Uh, that is uh, density, temperature, and uh, chemical composition, composition of the celestial objects. <coughs> the next, um, let's say, important topic, this is cosmology. And in general, cosmology is the study of the universe creation, uh, the universe history, and evolution of the uh, universe. Uh, now there are uh, a lot of theories of um, evolution of uh, universe and in the last uh, 50 years that is the big bang theory which uh, we will uh, which we will uh, study in a separate application uh, so we begin with the the next uh, subjects of astronomy, part of the astrophysics, this is the asteroids. Uh, these uh, they are celestial objects, yes, and asteroids, uh, they are not planets, but rocks and other parts uh, that have remained from the protostar or when the star is um, beginning to form. Uh, some of its parts remain. Uh, they, and uh, they circle around uh, other planets. Asteroids. Right near them is the comets. Now, the difference between asteroids and comets that uh, comets may travel uh, a lot more distances and uh, some astronomers believe that one comet uh, may reach two different solar systems. Though comets uh, have paths and they are predictable, they don't circle around a single planet. <coughs> also, comets are composite, composite mostly from orthan, uh, carbon dioxide and water. In general, they are composite of ice, so they are ice objects. That is why when they reach uh, closer to the sun, they begin to make a trail of gases that is evaporating from the star's hot temperature. The next celestial object is the planet or planets let's place them here now the planets are solid round objects that uh, go that are going around a single star they can't go around two stars for now that is and uh, uh, yes we said they are a solid um, the objects uh, celestial objects. Now the moons, the moons can be planets, can be either planets or asteroids and they go around a planet and not go around the sun. A sun. Moons also called natural satellites can, uh, can be also habitable, that is the next celestial object is a gas giant. Uh, now, gas giants are also planets, but they are composed mostly by gases. 
Now it is interesting how a gas may create a planet. And that is because probably gas giants have uh, has gas giants plural have um, a solid core that create gravity which captures the gases. That is. Uh, let's begin and let's see the next uh, cel celestial object. These are stars. Okay, uh, let's try this again. We have a star. Uh, around the star goes planets. Around the planet goes moons or satellites or asteroids and gas giants are also planets. But let's go back to stars. What is interesting uh, just here to mention is um, the astronomers have found by different methods stars, stars that are 3000 times our own star, the Sun. Uh, also there are two types of stars uh, with with bigger mass and with uh, lower mass, but uh, again we will look that at a separate application about the stars. So here we have two more parts of the star, which is of um, intense interest, interest by astronomers. Those are pulsars and supernovas, both part of the life star. Of the, of the life of a star. <laughs> so, the next topic of interest about astronomers are constellations. Okay, now, a lot of constellations, which are group of stars, are making a galaxy. The galaxy may form uh, what was that? A square mm, something. Well, we'll see that later. And another cosmic um, object are nebulas, which are uh, big areas of the space that have a lot of dust, cosmic dust. So, next. Uh, the red fruits, the red astronomy fruits, uh, one is astrometry or the astrometry is a branch of astronomy that deals with the exact position of the celestial objects in the space. Uh, now some uh, subjects from astrometry may be the, the light years which measure the distance between uh, celestial objects and parsecs, which are the mm, also distance in space. It is well. We'll see that later. Another red uh, topic. This is the dark matter. Now, dark matter is a matter that cannot cannot be observed with our current current technology. Uh, so what uh, is actually happening? Astronomers look at the stars and uh, they see that uh, matter is affected by something that they don't see or they can't measure with, uh, the, with these two methods of astronomy. So uh, they decide that this is a dark matter which is uh, yet to be studied. And finally, we are looking at uh, three ways for astronomical observation. This is optical astronomy. Uh, optical astronomy may in include um, um, those uh, telescopes, or, uh, home telescopes, personal telescopes, uh, industrial telescopes, scientific telescopes that uh, use lens to observe space. The next is the radio astronomy, which detect radio signals from space, in which way they explore space though. And the next is uh, ray astronomy, 
which detect uh, rays. Cosmic rays to tell us to tell us more about the universe we are living in. <laughs>